when you export a design from GK Plus and put it into the SketchUp environment, the layers that you were using in GK Plus come across as well. And that's very useful because, say, in this instance, if I was working on the fencing at the back and my planting is getting in the way, just as you would in GK Plus, you just hide or turn off that layer. And that's done here by simply clicking and now all the planting disappears and I can deal with the base of the fence there, which is, I think you would agree is looking a little ugly. The skills you have in the GK Plus environment can be applied in SketchUp. We're talking here about layers. The current layer is the layer with the dot on it. If I come down here and say, let's draw on the seating layer, and I take the rectangle tool and I want to change our seating by maybe putting a little slab there. If I pick that little slab that I've added, let me zoom in just a little, if I pick that slab or the surface of it there, can you see in our entity information that tells us it's on a layer L seating. So you have a current layer and that's dictated by the dot that appears alongside the layer name. So layers and putting up that layer window is crucially important. With a word of warning, I've now moved the SketchUp design into SketchUp 2020 and I want in the default tray on the right hand side to see the layers, the various scenes have come across as has shadows, styles and so on. So everything looks pretty much the same, but I can't for the life of me find the layers stack and as we've just said that's terribly important to the use of SketchUp when you're working with landscape designs. So what I have found after considerable searching is that if we go into window and the default tray there is that's where I was looking initially there is no layers but it's been renamed tags so if we click it there's what we are after. Now I promise you that in GK Plus we don't change the information in Windows or in drop down menus. We want to improve GK Plus as best we can but keep the interface the way it works as consistent as possible. The last thing you want to do is to run into a problem such as this one. There's an hour gone by trying to find out where the layers window is.